Hi, good morning everyone. I am out here before my kids are awake and it's a little cold outside actually. Um, that's how we are here. It gets, it's still pretty cold in the mornings um, in June. And so, anyway, I thought today I'd just kind of show you around, um, show you the garden now that we're not out in some harsh, harsh sunlight and and we'll go from there. I'm gonna be talking a little bit about, I guess, projects that I'd like to do. There's a lot that I still need to do. I still need to do some weeding, so ignore any weeds that you see in the ground. <laughs> um, but yeah, I also thought I'd just let you know that I am, I've got my shirt on, I think it's written backwards here, but we'll see. Um, I am in Pennsylvania. We are a zone 6A. Although where I live specifically, we're kind of tucked in a, a valley. Um, we're in the foothills of the Appalachian Mountains, and so we have a little mountain on this side and a little mountain behind us. Um, so right here in our little pocket, it could be more like a 5B zone. Um, but generally, our county is a 6A. So just letting you know that, um, just because if you're further south or north or whatever your um, hardiness zone is going to be a little different and the plants that you plant are going to be a little bit different and the time that you plant the plants so um anyway without further ado i'll get going with a little tour of our place i'm going to switch to a different camera um so hopefully sound quality is okay um but we'll we'll see we'll go from there all right so this is our garden um, we've got a little tiny plot right here too. This is my daughter's garden. Her bunny garden is what we call it. Um, we have carrots. Oops, sorry. We've got some carrots right there. Um, some spinach coming up. We've already already harvested spinach. We just thought since this spot is a little more shaded and protected, we might be able to try some more um, spinach. They are a cool season crop, so we'll see. We'll see how they do. And then my broccoli had some issues. I had 30... Um, broccoli plants planted earlier this year and then they got hit with a frost and it actually took them. First they were too hot because I still had little greenhouses over them um, and then I took them off and then they froze. So I've got two remaining ones and it's a little late but um, we'll see if anything comes from them. Um, right here we've got our zucchini. I did get a lot of things in our garden late this year, so I'm hoping zucchini should be fine. It usually matures pretty quickly. But I'm hoping we get a decent yield from our garden. These are our tomatoes. Um, yeah, there's uh, how many tomatoes do I have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 12 beef steak potatoes. There's some more, or not potatoes, tomatoes. Um, there's some more right here. Um, this, I can't remember which tomato it is. This is one that I started from seed. I started a bunch from seed, and again, I just have not had luck with starting things from seed. That is one of my things I'm going to try to do better. These, I did start from seed. These are my bell peppers. Um, these are Hungarian peppers. They are really hot. Um, these ones are large red cherry peppers. And we haven't had anything off of these yet. Um, you also notice I've got marigolds um, and some basil planted just throughout the garden. Sorry, my video is probably a little blurry this whole time. Um, because marigolds and basil are supposed to have a smell that bugs don't like. Um, so hopefully, hopefully that's the case. Hopefully it kind of helps deter the bugs. There's some more. Another marigold. These are potatoes. Um, again, I think I got them in the ground a little late, but we'll see. We'll see how they do. Right here is our pumpkin. Pumpkins. So this is um, a pie pumpkin. And right here, this is called a butterkin. I think I ordered it through Gurney's. It's supposed to be a really good tasting pumpkin. It is a hybrid between a pumpkin not sure what kind, and a butternut squash. So it's supposed to be a really yummy pumpkin, and I'm excited to try it. I'm sad because I had three plants going, I was going to leave two, and then the wind snapped two of them off, so now I'm left with one. So hopefully that one produces well. 
Our onions have been killing it. They have been doing, looking great. Um, this is the first thing we planted. And it looks like they're starting, starting to yellow. Um, so the stalks, when they're ready to harvest, the stalks on the onions get soft. Let me get down here. Uh, they get soft and they'll, they'll flop over. And so when they are flopping over, <laughs> for lack of a better term, that is when, when you can harvest the onions. Um, so I think with them starting to yellow on top, I think we'll get to that point pretty, pretty soon here, actually. Um, okay, well those are our garden beds where we have our produce. We've got some other things going on. I've got to pick up some weeds right there. Um, over here, we've got our strawberries. And this was our first year with these strawberries. They were, they were fun. My daughter really liked picking them and eating them a lot. She, well, she decided she didn't like them because of all the seeds, but she likes to pick them. Um, so we've got two different kinds in here, actually. I would like to transplant these ones soon. These are June bearing, so they're pretty much done. Um, and the ones in the back are ever bearing, and this is the first one we're getting off of our ever bearing ones. Um, but they, they are, we'd like to, I'd like to transplant the ever bearing ones to a different, different container. Um, yeah. Then over here, or the mess, <laughs> um, my sprinkler broke. I only used it four times and it broke. I was so mad. We've got another late start of pumpkins. I'm going to try growing one in here on a trellis and then I'm going to transplant this one into a bigger pot on a trellis. These are these are the little tiny decorative pumpkins. They're um, baby boos, they're white, and then jackby littles. So hopefully they'll be okay in this pot. Again, I started them late because that was kind of an afterthought. Um, yeah, let me get to another spot in the yard and I'll show you some more. The sun is starting to come up around the edge of our house, so things are getting a little bright out here. Over here, I don't know if you can see it. Oh, she's far away. There's a baby robin. And its mom is in the tree. It's been feeding it. And maybe we can get a video of this at some point. In this lilac over here, there is a cardinal's nest. And I'm so excited because I've never... Oh, there's the cardinal. I just flew over my head. I've never actually seen a cardinal's nest before. Plenty of robins. We have um, house finches here, but never a cardinal. So I'm, I'm really excited about that. Um, over here, so our property ends right where that garage is. At some point we might, it was with the house. It, oh, sorry, that was really bright. Um, at some point we might acquire the garage. I don't know, we'll see. So our property ends right here. We've got this right here. And there's this rock wall right behind it. I'm going to get out of the sun because it's really harsh and bright. So that's where our property ends. And then over here, <laughs> there's all of my strollers for my kids. Um, is This is our flower garden. We've got my roses look like they're kind of done. Something's eating them. I've got to spray those. And right here, I'm excited about this. All of these are sweet peas that I planted. I just wanted a big mess of sweet peas. Sorry, I cut out the video because a neighbor of mine um, came over <laughs> to chat. Um, but yeah, so sweet peas. I'm excited about that. We'll see how these work out this year. Um, Again, I have some weeding to do. These are um, Proven Winners Super Tunia Vista Bubble Gum. I know I think that's like a, the really, a really popular Super Tunia that they have is the Bubble Gum. And I planted them in the ground instead of in the container just because I kind of wanted them to fill some, fill some space. We've got this right here. Um, I think these are, I don't know what kind. Holly. They have red berries. Anyway, again, I'm, I am learning, and I am doing these videos so I can learn 
and grow and figure out what's in my garden and have it documented and hopefully you can learn some things from me. Um, over here, I'm gonna show you. Oop, there's our lovely van. So over here we've got, again, harsh sun, so I don't know how well you can see this. My planter and some begonias and some weeds that need to be pulled. Weeding, weeding, weeding. I gotta do lots of that. This, I'm trying to figure out what is going on with this shrub. It's really sad. So I'm gonna have to address this at some point too. Um, figure out why half of it has turned brown and is dying. Um, yeah, I can just walk. Again, the sun is harsh on this side of the house in the morning. Walk around. We've got all these flower beds. This is a flowering dogwood. Um, I'm just walking and giving you the tour. Hello, Shadow. So we have a flower bed, or shrub bed really, that surrounds our entire house. Oh, look at this. Ugh. Our entire house. Um, there's not really flowers in it, it's more shrubs. Um, so we, we have lived here for um, just over two years now. And now this one's struggling too. Okay, actually I'm going to finish that thought once I'm in a more shaded spot. So, um, like I was saying, we have been here for just over two years. So when we moved in, we moved in in the winter. Um, didn't know what was going to happen with these gardens or what was going to come up. So the first year we were here, we just kind of let everything be. We let it do its thing so we could see what we even had um, in all these, these garden beds and um, flower beds. Um, and then the second year we were here, we thought we, thought we would um, really use that summer to kind of make this yard our own. But my husband started traveling for work. He's a nurse. He started doing travel nursing. And we ended up in Illinois over the summer renting this little um, apartment so he could work there for six months. And we kept the house. But because we weren't here, the yard just was free to do whatever it wanted. And when I got back, it was scary. I was really embarrassed because there was it was really bad. We did not take care of it all, at, care of it at all, because we weren't even here. And so, so that was year two. Now we are finally on year three, um, our third summer, and we have done a lot. Okay, as I was saying, um, sorry. This my videos are gonna have lots of cuts on them because I'm a mom, and that's just how it's gonna be. My daughter just woke up, so I had to go get her some breakfast. Um, so now I'm going to wrap this up real quick. Um, yeah, we, we've we done quite a bit to um, this property, and I will have to see if there's pictures. But this garden space used to be just a, like a 12 foot by 14 foot box. That was it, just one big box. And I had to walk through and watch my step, and I couldn't plant as much in there because I had to leave space for me to walk in. And so this year we took out that box and we put in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven garden beds that are eight feet by four feet. Um, excuse me, three feet. I think they're three feet wide. Um, nope, four feet. I can tell from this garden fabric, it's marked every foot. Um, and then we have a couple smaller boxes. So we increased our garden space. We made it a lot more um, gardener friendly by having the rows and we put down the gravel and we put in a fire pit. Um, so we've, we've done a lot here and then we've torn out some things um, in like the flower beds and put in some things. So again, I'm just gonna have to show you all of it as, as we go and um, we're making changes. So, um, I guess that's it for today. I will probably do another video to introduce you to our rabbits next time. Um, but anyway, thank you for watching. I'm going to go in and 
make sure my daughter is happy with her breakfast. We'll see you. Bye-bye.